Krainer, have you ever been to the zoo? Yes, I have, Josh. And have you ever seen any shocking moments at the zoo? Well, I was pretty surprised when uh, they let me out of the cage. <laughs> I don't get it. Because I'm a monkey. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we're going to watch some shocking moments at the zoo, Krainer. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, let's do it, Josh. <laughs> If you still doubt that apes are amongst the smartest species of the world, then I think this video is surely going to change uh, your mind. Okay, it doesn't seem smart if it puts a saw to its head. How was the first thing we're looking at? It's a monkey sawing his head, okay. That didn't seem smart, but let's get convinced, Josh. Normally, people who try to point out the ingeniousness of primates tend to show them scrolling on phones or doing uh, something looks like, like I can do that. But for this orangutan, what? being basic is not an option. Why did they give okay. them swords? I don't, I don't know who decided to do that. <laughs> Why? This is like the start of an uprising. Oh, we have monkey and we have saw. Just... In a true show of intelligence, Whoa, what? the That's insane. the of sawing. Wait. You can see her raise the saw, okay. test its sharpness, and then uh, literally get to work. Wow. That is, okay, that's crazy, but don't test Despite its sharpness in your mouth. Wild. Now, could the monkey build a house? Maybe, eventually, Josh. They have to learn first. They're like right. a Somehow, couple thousand years she's behind. Worked out what to do with it. According to some reports, the orangutan had learned to use the saw by watching humans construct the buildings around her. That's kind of cool. And yeah. By simply observing the men, she was able to learn how to handle a saw and apply it to a hard surface. So, so... If we if we show a monkey how to shoot a gun, will it start? I was just thinking like how long before this orangutan uses it on like a person? Yeah. Uh, oh wow, I can saw someone's arm off. Another monkey, dude. Yeah. And just look at how adept that she was. I mean, she's stabilizing the log of wood with her leg as she. Yeah, she's not me. doing a great job. I've not Let's seen her actually so cut it yet. She uses her feet as a vice to steady the branch. Okay. <laughs> Give that orangutan a few years, and it may just be able to open its own carpentry. <laughs> I, I thought it was about to say, give it. it a few years, and he might be able to cut a lock. <laughs> Bro, this is me working, dude. I yeah, also literally. just... <laughs> when you go to the zoo, there are really only a few rules you have to follow. Okay. One of them, as you may expect, is that you should never get too close to the animals. Right, but that guy I'm... is literally inside He's the cage. He's too okay. close to the animal, What happens yeah. when you drop your favorite hat into the tiger enclosure? In this he clip puts captured it on? at the Toronto Your Zoo favorite in hat? of 2016, a woman appeared to have accidentally dropped her hat into the tiger enclosure. Did she go in? But instead of leaving the accessory and just getting a new one, How do you her hat that? into the tiger enclosure. But instead of what? leaving the accessory and just getting a new one, how do you? Did you? Just, can someone explain how you drop a hat into a tiger exhibit? Dropping a hat is pretty hard in the first place, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. But also, why do you jump in after it? Yeah, that's d terrible decision making. But she got yeah. into the enclosure. The tiger became incredibly irate as it I'm began trying to latch on to the seemingly free I'll be, meal. I'll be annoyed Luckily too. Luckily for the woman though, she was separated from the tiger by a single fence. One and single so fence. To One singular hat. fence, Josh, has got to save you here. The that tiger is is ready for dessert right now, well, honestly. Well, a random lady just jumped into his pen almost, dude. I'll be furious too. I simply can't imagine what a risky move that this was. All of that just to get a simple hat. Yeah, that's wild. It must have been some oh, kind the of poor tiger. Yeah, it might have been a special hat. One of the hat. many ways in which humans have evolved from primates is our ability to walk on two legs. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I can do that. Like gorillas and chimps <laughs> can walk on two legs as well. That looks like jelly. For a limited amount of time, <laughs> Look at it, dude. The animals end up belly. preferring to support themselves oh, by cute. walking on all fours. Well, there is one exception to that rule, and it comes in the form of Lewis. Lewis? That does not look cute. primate which lives at the Philadelphia Zoo has reportedly trained himself to basically <laughs> walk on both legs almost Looks like a grumpy old man! Now again, it's not necessarily <laughs> uncommon for primates to walk on- Why they got such a gyat as well? What the heck? Yeah, they got a big butt, dude. However, for Lewis, his Look obsession with guy. cleanliness meant that he preferred <laughs> this method whenever he wanted that to get so around. That is so fun. I've seen people walk like that. Lewis especially True. likes maintaining cleanliness when his hands are full of food and snacks. And instead of risking getting his food dirty, he just simply walks around on both legs <laughs> and maintains the posture. I could until watch he gets this guy walk for a day. Perhaps dude. Okay. it's time that somebody has, gets that I gorilla mean, an IQ test. Yeah, has anyone actually checked that that's not just a human in a monkey suit <laughs> walking around? <laughs> it's just a TikTok prankster that went way too yeah, far, dude. Way too far. Spending 10 years in a zoo. It was actually a vine prankster. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> True, yeah. At pretty much every zoo, lions are amongst the biggest and most sought after attractions. They're the yeah. kings of the jungle after all. And there's Makes just sense. something about watching them strut around in their natural habitat 
as they show their dominion. Yeah. But while we admire lions, it's worth remembering that they're also fierce animals Whoa, who true, love true. human flesh. Oh, okay. Stop at nothing in order to get Ooh, some. That's yeah. a tasty yeah. little girl yeah. right there. Wait, I can't. Yeah, you can't say that. <laughs> I meant the tiger said yeah, it. The lion. You, 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 you said it. Yeah, but yeah, I realized if you take it out of context, yeah. Oh, Just keep it rolling, Josh. Okay. Right. Take a look at this next video. Oh my. The clip would be taken at a zoo in Oregon. In, okay. Showing a lion who literally Ooh. was trying to <laughs> Get the boy. baby away! <laughs> who leaves? Like, how would you. <laughs> how are you not moving the baby at this point? Fortunately, the lion and the boy were separated by a large piece of protective glass. Yeah, but that's not so the that child big. was never in any real danger. I, don't I would know. just move, honestly. I would I move my like baby crazy... just because. Even yeah. if I know the lion yeah. can't bring out. Like, even you just like, want to make sure. Even if it was like a 1% chance, you'd be like, I'm just going to move the child. Yeah, I'm just going to... Also, it, it's annoying the lion or something, you know? Yeah. So. The thing is that the boy <sighs> didn't even have a single clue as to what was going on. He simply oh. turned his back on the lion and continued to smile at his parents behind the camera. Yeah. All it's while the poor cute, lion was trying so hard to I feel to like you're kind of teaching... The the <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of teaching the kid a wrong thing, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. Say, like, kitty, kitty. Oh Don't say God. cute kitty, the cute the kitty lion, wants to though. eat you! He must have been wondering what on earth the problem was. I just wonder how long that it took him to Get realize that line he would not succeed in his yeah. mission. Captured it, it's at the Field Zoo in Illinois in 2012, the clip shows a moment when a goose decided to square off against what? not one, but three giraffes. The giraffes Dude, geese were not are necessarily evil. trying with, to hurt any of the, the geese in the with scene. The giraffe eat. I mean, they can't eat them. <laughs> Since giraffes are herbivores, oh, okay, okay, but fine. Even still, it seemed like the Papa Goose was not taking. Any I mean, I chances. don't blame him to be honest. Your giraffes are kind of crazy. It's looking. a it's giant animal family. heading towards his family. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of get it. I do get it. I get the goose too, but they are usually pretty evil, Josh Goose. Whoa! Oh dang! You almost got kicked, Papa Whoa, Goose. That, that giraffe's running. <laughs> I would be scared if I was a giraffe and one of those things came after me as well. Yeah, yeah, true. Because he actually succeeded in getting the giraffes to go away. I don't know. Here's props to the, to the to Sometimes the it's not the size of the dog. It's a proud little goose, isn't it? The size of the fight in the dog. Look Another at major it. question that's always been asked time oh. and again is that of strength between species. What? Considering uh -huh. that many tales of men beating animals in a one-on-one -on -one combat, <laughs> both in real what? life and in the movies, that, yo, yeah, it's just always been a question it. of whether humans could really hold their own against animals. Damn. There's no what way we can. to put your strength to the test than that of the old tug You've got war. no tug shot in with a lion. 2020, Look at a this Russian big guy. Bodybuilder decided to put his strength to the test against a tiger at a local zoo. You're gonna Zookeepers lose. Zookeepers shared the clip online, that. passing a rope into the tiger's enclosure. Look, it's just chilling, that, Yeah, that line's taking a break. To the bodybuilder. And look at this guy. I like the guy in the background. Like, yes, yes, I got it. I got the angle. I, I'm getting it from every what angle. Do you think? <laughs> I think he's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I'm stronger, but he's heavy and he just what? Okay, bold <laughs> claim, guy. <laughs> you think you're stronger than a tiger? Let's what? Go, one more try. Let's go. <sighs> He's like one v one in a boxing match. I would win, uh, but uh, tire lines heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude, insane, what bro. is that? The battle was a fierce one with the tug of war going back and forth. However, Look, as soon they as the tiger no was shot. able to get a good grip, and yeah, I feel like as soon as the, the, the it was tiger actually pulls it, for the it, it, it's nothing. He would admit yeah. that he couldn't win that one, and then it was all over. Dude, what an ego on this guy yourself. though. <laughs> I'm sure that it took a lot of endurance just to get that. Think he's stronger yeah, than a tiger? You gotta be kidding to me. Zoo, either to bond with animals or just for entertainment, it's always worth remembering that many animals might not necessarily be so in love with that feeling. True. For some of them, zoos are a kind of prison. They're away from their natural habitats, and while zoos try to mimic that same feeling, what are those wombats? The same. Why? Why is there a small child? <laughs> it's it's, that's uh, Steve Irvin's uh, oh, son, right? Oh, is it? Right? Oh, yeah. Feeling He's cute, dude. Sure Look at him. Never. Can this you stop talking about kids being cute? All right. Hey, I, it's just weird. Josh, it's just weird. It's okay? normal to find kids cute. Right. Same. Right. So it won't be a surprise Panda on to see fence. some animals. I like to pandas on a fence, Josh. Once in a while. Look at this guy. He's not his game. Okay, I think that's Whoa. bad for you. It's, it's better not be the ones that know how to saw things. <laughs> no, that would be bad. 2019, an octopus at the Seattle Aquarium decided that it was time to break free, and he literally got what? started on a daring escape attempt. Can they oh. breathe over water? I guess. Oh my God. What the oh, heck? That's Look so at this gross. Thing. 
That is the grossest While thing ever. While it was ever. fun and games watching the octopus, things soon became very real when the animal started making progress with the escape. What? Why was it not stopped, like, a long time before this yeah, part? Someone could, like, tell someone about this? Also, can we please find out if they can breathe on land? Well, I, I mean, if it's breaking out, you'd think it can. I'm Googling it, Josh. Okay, I'll wait. Can octopi... To octopus... How's it going? This allows the octopus to survive on land for short periods of time. Because it's got three hearts. Okay, good, good, good. Did Thanks. you know an octopus has three hearts? I think I actually Josh? did, but that... That doesn't really explain anything. So it can live on there for a little while, but it was still a dumb escape route. Yeah. Basically. Right. He got out. But here's a problem. An octopus is an aquatic animal. Dang it! It was going to answer it for me too! Anyway, out of the water, he probably immediately realized that he had made a mistake. But wow. fortunately, the zookeepers were quick to get on the scene. If you, you think an octopus has enough brain to be like, whoopsie? Uh, uh, Charles has got 12 brains as well now. Oh, yeah, true. They have a lot it of It might have had a plan. Things. True. To face with a lion, I think um, the conventional response would be to run for your dear life. Why is yeah. this guy one v one a lion? the most deadly and dangerous of predators in the world, and they tend to not really mess around when they spot a potential prey. Oh, really? They it don't mess though, around? Perhaps we may have treated lions with a bit of prejudice because some of them literally Aww. just want to be cuddled. And if you don't believe me, you I want to cuddle to a lion now. I don't know if I would Captured want that. Captured in March of 2019, the Look clip at that shows guy. an incredible moment when a lion literally hops into a what? cart containing tourists at a How lion is park nobody park. screaming? Why? Yeah, how the cart is that was not around the open forest when the lion suddenly runs up to it? Um, it's like, like a big cuddly killer people, cat. This massive furry cat is no one questioning this. And rolls over. The cat's it's just, just like, mm, who am I gonna have for breakfast and then lunch and dinner? Also, the food is being nice to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, wow. Thanks, the food. The food has a great service. <laughs> separate line at that same park seemingly stood Wait, this by is like the, the opposite like of a drive through Yeah. <laughs> as soon as he did, he was all over the Because the, the, the food him. drives now, through to you. I know that these lions have probably been neutered or domesticated. But I don't think that I'd exactly be signing up. For He's this like, this one, one is juicy. <laughs> yeah, this one's got some extra meat on his bones. <laughs> they say that many apes oh. are just as smart Stop as Stop with the monkeys. They freak me out, dude. Smart. I don't know much about that, so I'll leave the arguments to the scientists. But what I okay. do know, however, is that a lot of apes are definitely quite sensitive. In this next Aww. video, which was taken at a zoo in England back in August of 2015, what do they do to monkeys in England, the orangutan Josh? What exhibit, the and something truly remarkable happens. As she approaches the orangutan's enclosure, the ape, which looked quite tired to be honest, suddenly got up and was seemingly drawn to her. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, arms not here. Is it because she's pregnant? It's gonna rub your belly again. Aww. Wait, really? According to reports, the lady had been four months Wait. pregnant. Oh, she just so whipped it out. Her baby yeah, yeah, yeah. was already beginning to show. Look, and it it's point to get it. What really attracted the orangutan <laughs> as it went closer to the bump and literally began smooching it. Oh, that's cute. Imagine he, the, the monkey in his head just thinking, <clears throat> hey, look at that fatty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not even like thinking that it's pregnant. <laughs> he's kissing it. He's kissing it. <laughs> that is cute, but also very freaky. Yeah. Like maybe the monkey's just into some weird stuff, you know? Yeah, the orangutan that, could yeah. quite literally not They're get probably pervy monkeys too. Bump. And after planting a few kisses on the glass, he begins to feel it affectionately. Oh, okay. If this isn't no. an overload oh. of cuteness, uh, I really don't know what uh, it It's kind of cute, I'm but also kind of interactions between Me human too. beings and other primates is something that really never gets oh, old. Oh, look at that. That's and a cute the monkey. many other primates, gorillas That's a ripped monkey. are some Damn. of the smartest around. Dang, dude. Even with their smartness, it's interesting to see these monkey gorillas get hat. fascinated <laughs> oh, by things that hat, tend dude. to take for granted. <laughs> for instance, watch this cute moment. When a gorilla and a guy bond over, bro, he's actually swiping. Check out this meme, bro. He's, he's swiping on Tinder. He's like, "What do you think?" <laughs> yeah, you like this? Of other members of its species. Oh, never mind. Oh, what are you showing him? Pictures of gorillas. Oh, nice. <laughs> James Foster. He's paying attention, though. Show him a good meme. Taken in September yeah, right. Of 2016, Give him some content. Featuring a moment yeah. that the guy captured. Can we teach a SLG monkey videos. how to? A swipe on shorts. That would be good. Oh yeah, that would be great. We could hire a bunch of monkeys, Zoo dude. By showing other gorilla snaps, and just look at how intently. Imagine the large if he shows him a gorilla that he hates, though. Attention. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, what if he shows him it off, dude? Something tells me that gorilla has not been so fascinated as that before. Considering that it had probably been used to amuse humans all of its life, oh. it's nice that it got a little bit of that, entertainment of its that's own. That's kind of sad. As I yeah. said earlier, many Whoa, animals that are locked up in zoos for a little bit of freedom. He pulls up, dude. Would like nothing more than okay, to head into the world up. and be free once again. Can we see more However, capybara? However, that doesn't that necessarily that was it, mean that just capybara opens the gate. Would show it literally <gasps> and a hippo. Seventeen, a hippo went viral. After footage would show Wait, it, 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 it someone was a mall in a safari okay. in Tel Aviv. Right. <laughs> a massive mammal appeared to have been taken. I like how it's just just strolling out. That for some reason, but also I think hippos are really dangerous. Yeah, they are. I think they are really one of the most they literally dangerous. Literally literally strutted right out. I would be angry too if I was built like However, that, dude. Oh, look at this thing! Dang, it can move. It can run, run really fast, dude. He surprisingly walked back into the facility. Only two minutes. He's like, I've had it off. I don't like it out there. He's like, this turns out the real world, not it. Yeah, it kind of sucks. <laughs>